ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਇੰਡੋ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਚੈਰੀਟੇਬਲ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ਾਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਯੂਗੈਂਡਾ ਤੇ ਭਾਰਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੈਡੀਕਲੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਸਕੇ ਮੈਡੀਕਲ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਦਾ ਆਯੋਜਨ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਉੱਤੇ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲਿਜਾਇਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਵਲੰਟੀਅਰ ਵਰਕ ਕਰ ਸਕਣ ਇਸ ਸਾਲ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦਾ ਆਯੋਜਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ 10 ਮਈ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਫੰਡ ਰੇਜ਼ਰ ਦਾ ਆਯੋਜਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਮਕਸਦ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਵੇਅਰਨੈਸ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਵੇ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਕੁਝ ਮਾਇਆ ਕਰਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਸਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਉੱਥੇ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਲਾ ਸਕਣ ਇਸੀ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਬਸੰਤ ਲਖਾਨੀ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਦੇ ਮੁਖੀ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਇਸ ਸਾਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਚੁੱਕਿਆ ਹੈ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਇੰਡੋ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਚੈਰੀਟੇਬਲ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਜੋ ਆਪਕੀ ਹੈ ਬੜੇ ਲੰਮੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਸੇ ਆਪ ਹਰ ਸਾਲ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਭਾਰਤ ਔਰ ਯੂਗੈਂਡਾ ਮੇ ਇਹ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਲਗਾਤੇ ਹਨ ਉਸਕੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਮੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਸਾ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕੋਂ ਕੋ ਬਤਾ ਦੀਜੀਏ ਵੈਸੇ ਤੋ ਆਪ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਵੀ ਬਤਾ ਚੁਕੇ ਹਨ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਥੋੜਾ ਸਾ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਕਾਮ ਕੀਆ ਹੈ ਉਸੇ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਰਹਾ ਹੈ ਯਾ ਓਕੇ ਇੰਡੋ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਚੈਰੀਟੇਬਲ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਵਾਸ ਅਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ ਟੂ ਹੈਲਪ ਦੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਨ ਰੂਰਲ ਏਰੀਆ ਜੀ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਵਿਦ ਮੈਡੀਕਲ ਕੈਂਪਸ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵੀ ਡਿਡ ਦੈਟ ਫੋਰ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਵੀ ਦੈਨ ਐਮਬਾਰਕ to going into uganda mm-hmm. so last 7 years we've been going to uganda right. doing medical camps on each day we we have two two week medical camp on each day we say about 12 1400 people Gee. so about 12 14000 people in two weeks okay uh, patients come there from villages we treat them it's not only eye glasses or things like that it's it's sarva rog nigdan all ailments mm-hmm. it includes examining the patients uh, and refer them to the hospital if need be right. if the surgeries are required we also ask or suggest to the hospital to do the surgeries and we pay pay the hospitals mm-hmm. the minimum cost for the for for the surgeries done right so it's a complete treatment when the patient comes to me it could be hernia it could be appendicitis in mm-hmm. surgeries it could be dental work uh, all could be done for free right and also in india i was just in india in in january okay. i just came back in uh, in february mm-hmm. we did a camp in in gujarat and what we did there is we had dentist with us from manchester we had dr banji a pediatrician from vancouver right. and we had a gynecologist also from vancouver okay. so we had a team of three doctors mm-hmm. but also local doctors right in uh, among number of uh, about 18 to 20 local doctors help us right. because in a day we would get 4 500 patients and okay. it's very difficult uh, we did surgeries um, eye surgeries you know in india whenever in, in you go in india the majority of patients have eye problems mm-hmm. i don't know why but then cataract comes out right but then other surgeries like general surgeries that is also done at the hospital right. it cannot be done when we set up a camp in a village it cannot be done in the village mm-hmm. so patients are booked to come to the to 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 the town where right. the hospital is where we were based okay when they come to the hospital they have been taken complete care including their meals etc and and when the surgery is done they are sent home so it's all free you don't That's charge them anything we don't charge them anything right ek aur unique cheez jo aapke ye program ki hai ki aap yahan se hi volunteers ko leke jate hain aur khas taur ke upar jo uganda mein jate hain is saal bhi aap ja rahe hain august ke mahine mein jayenge to uske andar youngsters bhi hote hain aur doctors bhi hote hain aur jo log is field ke sath associated ya waise hi ja ke service karna chahte hain to uske bare mein bataiye ki wahan pe ja ke jo ye uganda mein camps lagate hain क्या वो भी uh, हर तरह के ऑपरेशंस uh, वगैरह करते हैं या कुछ स्पेसिफिक होता है शेयर नो दिस दिस नो स्पेसिफिक दे आर ऑल ऑल आवर कैंप्स आर सर्वर रोड जी दैट्स अ यूनिक थिंग अबाउट इट द स्टूडेंट्स हु कम्स विद अस समटाइम्स दे आर इंटर्न्स ओके समटाइम्स दे आर फिफ्थ ईयर मेडिसिंस थर्ड ईयर मेडिसिंस फोर्थ ईयर दे ऑल मेडिकल राइट साइड इज डेंटल और मेडिसिन और मेडिसिन द मेजर थ्रस्ट वी हैव इज टू ब्रिंग द यंग पीपल विद अस सो दे एक्सपीरियंस what the poverty is right so this gives them an edge over other students right. when they come with it's that. a hand on experience basically hand on experience Absolutely. based working with the doctors work, right. working with the dentists working in the hospital environment right. so is saal ye august ke kaun si uh, date ko leke ja rahe hain aap we we are going on the august the 4th okay uh, camp starts on august the 4th that are always first first monday of the uh, august okay and it lasts to the 15th of august that would Gee. be two week period mm-hmm. and it's in a town called tororo people who in uganda they would know where it is in eastern
to 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 homeless right uh, about three four hundred people mm -hmm. we cook ourselves we go there at 8 a.m. on on Saturday morning right. our volunteers other other thing most of the volunteers I have now is the age of 13 to 16 or 12 to 16 okay, that's the nice. majority right. so also we try to groom them into volunteerism absolutely the younger people right you know and I think that's the thrust that we should leave Tomorrow we may not be here, but oh, if we train yes. the young people to Bilkul. do this work, so maybe our work will continue. Bilkul ji, wo bacho mein agar ye baat baat jayegi, to definitely isko carry karenge. Yeah, yeah. Achha, May 10 ko ab aap ek program karne jaane, uske baare mein batayi, kya program hai? Okay, May 10th ko saath, last, thin, th th last three years we've been doing it. Ji. We do the fundraising program. Okay. Because any program you want to deliver, you need the money. Right. Okay. Without money, you cannot proceed. Mm -hmm. the, the May 10th program, will be raising funds to help us to to deliver the programs mm -hmm. the need of our, our programs is increasing day by day right. for example this homeless then uh, number of patients are increasing because we become popular in those countries right cost of medicines go high right so it's just a fundraising event it's fun with the raising so mm -hmm. there would be dinner and dance programs mm -hmm. and bhangra and uh, gujarati program and all right. kinds of things but uh, the, the also Dr. Banji will be doing a PowerPoint okay. on what he came with. He came first time he came with me to India, and how he did did uh, treat patients, okay. uh, young young children, right. and what disease he sees. So he's going to make a presentation. Wonderful. So finally, uh, till today, just in rough figures, how much uh, money has been spent on these projects as such? Oh my God! This was maybe two, three hundred thousand dollars. Wonderful. Three, three hundred thousand dollars. Because Uganda camp cost at least thirty thousand dollars, right. and we did we did uh, seven of them. Okay, so we were two hundred thousand there, right. and India maybe hundred thousand because India the cost of medicine is low. Right, and also in India we do water bores. Mm -hmm. We do water bores complete with filtration system. Okay, that's an additional program. Today we have about fourteen wells. Mm -hmm. We're all with filtration system working right. in order, you know. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So all this work is bearing results and वहाँ पे जो लोग हैं वो उनकी मदद की जा रही है कनाडा में बैठे हुए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और शुभ कामनाएं थैंक यू वेरी मच और मई दस का और ये अगस्त सत्रह का जो चार का जो प्रोग्राम है अगर कोई भी कोई जानकारी लेना चाहता है तो कहाँ से इनफॉरमेशन तो we also have a website, IndoAfricaCharities.com. Mm -hmm. So they can go on the website and get all the information about Thank it. Thank you, sir, and best wishes. Uh, thank you very much.